Good day, fellow geeks. This week's episode of Geeks of Azeroth, we're going to be talking about allied races, pre-ordering Geeks of Azeroth. Pre-ordering Geeks of Azeroth, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, talking about a lot of stuff, all that more, yeah. Geeks of Azeroth, going live. No what happened. Ba ba ba. Intros are hard. You're listening to the Blizzard Community Podcast, produced by geeks for geeks. Welcome to Geeks of Azeroth. Good lord, that was the roughest intro I've done in a while. Uh, Good day, everybody. Welcome to episode 152 of Geeks of Azeroth. My name's Tarly, and you can only see me if you're watching live because people don't know how to work Skype very well. With me, as always, I've got Britza. Struggling through Skype. Yeah. And we've got a full packed house, actually, members from uh, Apocalyptic Horsemen. We've got Love. What's up, guys? Got Kale. Hello. Also struggling with Discord. (laughs) <laughs> or Skype. Life in general, really. And we got clouds. <laughs> hey, everybody. And, uh, yeah, it's a packed house, so we'll start the show like we always do, talking about what we've been up to. Love, as a loyal mem- returning member, what have you been up to, man? <laughs> so, um, you know, like we said, allied races, all that matters. So, leveling, which is <laughs> obviously my favorite hobby ever. Um, <laughs> the greatest, the total shit. So, yeah, just um, a lot of leveling. Just a lot of wow, the usual. Nice. Clouds, what about you? What have you been up to? I've been leveling with him. I'm not sure how to feel about the changes. Kale? Uh, gearing up a fire mage. Forgot how much I hated LFR. <laughs> and when I get too frustrated, I go kill things on Rainbow Six Siege. Nice. Britta. Britta, what have you been up to? Man? Rep grinding. Because... I didn't prep for Battle for Azeroth. No, uh, I, I realized that, uh, well, late, uh, how can I put this? I was concentrating so much on the release day, I forgot to um, actually pay attention to what my reputation was with the Alliance factions, for the Allied races, so I need to catch up a little bit. So I've spent the last week trying to just power through World Quest, which is something that is all right. Kind of enjoyed it, but... Yeah, I just want to go play Allied Races. More yeah. than <laughs> Yeah. Can um, you not just give me them? Like, can I just have them? <laughs> uh, pretty much the same for me. I've, I, I've been trying to level characters, but yeah, it, the leveling is not really fun anymore. It never was, but now it's worse. Yeah, uh, it's never <laughs> fun. Um, uh, but other than that, yeah, same. As always, playing lots of Overwatch. Um, I have finally uh, decided I was going to just throw the money at something random and buy a uh, 144 hertz monitor and i will tell you that is the the most game changing thing i've done so like upgrading graphics cards and upgrading a new pc none of that mattered until i bought this monitor holy hell man if you guys have to you got to try it it it's hard to explain and you can't like watch a youtube video on it because it you know youtube's still going to be 60 fps at the most but when you see a game playing, you actually see 144 frames per second. My God, it changes everything. Is that with the G-Sync as well? Yeah, it's got G-Sync. Nice. So no more screen tearing at all. Uh, in WoW, I mean, it. It in WoW it's interesting because, I mean, yeah, WoW I think only will go up to like 100 FPS viewable. But it's still, that's pretty pretty interesting looking but yeah overwatch it's it's insane i can play heroes that i couldn't play before like mccree or i'm hitting all my hooks now with roadhog like spend a Not whole challenge accepted <laughs> yeah it's, it's you and me cool. in the hall let's go all right all right let's do it right now we're gonna cancel the show we're gonna have a, a hog off is that what you that call it painful. a hog off <laughs> i call that a typical saturday night mm. <laughs> all right well let, let's jump into um What's a drena anyhow? Can I drink it? Discussion of the week. No, yeah, let's talk about all the new stuff that's happened this week, which uh, yeah, it kind of came out of nowhere. But pre pre orders for Battle for Azeroth came out on Tuesday. Um, I, were you guys as shocked about this? Because I don't think anybody was actually expecting that. We, we kind of talked. Blizzard. <laughs> yeah, we kind of like joked about it maybe possibly happening, and then it just kind of comes out of nowhere. I was expecting them to release a date for when we'd be able to do it that day. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah, yeah, I love how the Q and A starts. Like, all right, I don't know why you're watching this Q and A. You can go pre-order battles. Like, well, fuck, that's a fair point. <laughs> you're um, not wrong. 
Yeah. I mean, and and then of course, so I mean, they were just dropping little clues throughout the day, like Legion got cut in half, like it's pri- not the expansion, but the price, um, and and then like leaked images, box art was coming out, and then just boom, it's available for pre order, and then the Q and A happens. I don't know if Blizzard was like, why is this happening? Why why is everything leaking? Drain rewards, all that matters. Yeah. Um, now that we have Moose and Nightborn <laughs> moving forward among Greedy, now it's like, I mean, those are cool, but Drain O'Rourke, come on now. I mean, I'm going to try to say this in the least racist way possible, but I'm not <laughs> as excited about them because they're just brown orcs. Boy, they're brown orcs with good posture. Yeah, That's but but all orcs here. will be able to go to the chiropractor. Like to chiropractor. And have, so, yeah. I'm expecting those to have more attractive posture than our uh, current orcs. Yeah, okay. I'm, I don't know, but regardless, I mean, I'm sure they'll have something special. Have they said anything about the racial abilities? No. no it, like, it was very, very subtle. Ian's like, hey, you know, we've hinted that Draenor orcs are coming, and everyone's like, wait, what the fuck? Draenor orcs are coming? What? When, did we, when was this hinted? <laughs> Yeah, that um, yeah, that was pretty surprising. I wonder if there's any other races they could pull out of Draenor, but I don't know. That, sure. that doesn't make me happy because I know we're gonna have to go back to Draenor to unlock them. You know that's gonna be a thing. Oh my God, I hope not. <laughs> Never mind. I don't care. Draenor works. Don't matter. They're the new Cal. It costs two hundred thousand Apex crystals. Oh, oh God! No, you oh. shut the fuck up right now. No, yeah, we're, we're not going to. Right through. <laughs> Speaking of the Q&A, something that was kind of cool is they also did confirm that allied races are going to be a thing past uh, Battle for Azeroth. Like, this is just the future mm-hmm. of WoW, yeah. engine, which is which I'm okay with because it's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's pretty much going to be how they deliver new races of any kind, I think, from here on out. And I, you know, we'll probably get... Maybe once in a while, but yeah. Because, I mean, when you look at the allied race screen, I mean, there's clearly room for, like six allied races for each faction so as long as we get the little fox people and then i will ride yeah. the fox mount as a little fox person just imagine how <laughs> every every ally main is just gonna hang themselves when they see we have nightborn and fox people i, I imagine we'll get the foxes and they're gonna get the turtle people that would um, be amazing. then i'll hang myself I, yeah that'd be very just or the snake-headed people I like. I don't know about you guys, but I would have paid seventy just for the little turtle battle pet. He's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you guys ride around on your mount at all? Your pre-order mount? On, on the druid, I have been because you know druids aren't efficient until forty. Because then you can just be a travel form moose and live a good life. It's disappointing but, to see another mount that doesn't fly, but it's also hard to be disappointed mm-hmm. when the raptor looks that badass. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we won't be flying. No, the mo- I have no complaints about the Moose one, but the Nightborn one, come on now. They made yeah. everybody suffer that god-awful insurrection quest line. For, I mean, at least that mount is dope, but then you just get like a non- A lesser version of it, yeah. 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 With those mounts, were they ever supposed to be faction locked? Because like, a lot of people logged on and uh, posted that they could actually like use the Raptor on the Alliance characters and the horse on their Horde characters. Are they supposed to been locked off or are they supposed to be just for I'm anything no. you talk about, those are the pre-order ones and i thought those were supposed to be locked but i'm not sure are we talking about the pre-order ones or the night yeah, the, 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 well, the we kind of transitioned we started off with the night like the race <laughs> ones and then off the pre-order. i just said screw that i haven't got it so i'm just gonna talk about something huh. else no I, did, I didn't even know you could use the pre-order ones cross-faction but i mean it makes sense it it is i don't know you've always been able to use the pre-order mount beforehand this is the first time they've given us two, but... Yeah, I, I think the right. raptor looks a lot more impressive than the horse, and so they probably did that yeah. just to avoid people being salty. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, raptor or just plain horse. I mean, nobody likes a horse. Huh. <laughs> Looking Thank at you, you Icarus. <laughs> Looking at you, Icarus. Um, we have a guy in our guild named Horse. That's just that's for the reference for the listeners who have no idea what we're talking about. Um it, it, yeah, it's still cool mounts though, but, um, and it makes sense they're not flying because, of course, we won't be flying in uh, uh, battle at least right away. Um, man, I just totally lost track of what I was going to say. Britza, carry me, senpai. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, they're not water mounts either, which is interesting. Very good. Um, yeah, that's very accurate. <laughs> <than that. laughs> 
But a turtle is. Maybe maybe the turtle grows over the first patch into a mighty beast and we use that to then attack Ashara. Who knows? Confirmed? Maybe I've just confirmed the next. I mean, now. I'll confirm it right now because that sounds dope. Yeah. <laughs> like you have to kill the horse and feed it to the turtle along with the blood of your your enemies. That's what Warfront's is all about. It's about feeding this giant turtle. Confirmed. <laughs> Jesus, that was dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we also learned, uh, so in the Q&A, we did learn a lot of stuff, but one thing we did learn in the Q&A was that Blizzard still has no idea what Warfronts are. Um, so that's good to know. Um, yeah, super good to know. <laughs> um, what do we want Warfronts to be? What's a Warfront? Uh, let me talk about it. Let me go into detail about open world PvP for an hour instead. Right, yeah. Um, I have no idea what I want want them to be, really. I mean... Because I, I don't be know. Explained the bat count. <laughs> yeah. I want them to be explained. Yeah, it's hard to like say what you want something to be when you have absolutely no foundation to go yeah, off I, of. Other I, than I haven't that. played any of the games they're based off of. Yeah, I love that during the Q and A, they leg legitimately said, "Hey, you know, it's like an RTS, but it's not actually an RTS." It's like, what the fuck does that even mean? Yeah. The thing I read said that it was like supposed to be based off of Warcraft two and three, but it's like you were playing the hero in those games, right? Yeah, like Whatever that, that is going to mean. So it, it basically the way I, it looks to me as I'm expecting it to be like you're literally playing in the RTS is what they're describing. So I, I imagine that if you could look at it from a third person perspective. Then it'll, it would look like one of those games. It would look like Warcraft. Yeah. Maybe, but don't worry. They confirmed you won't actually be overhead. Mind's blown, right? <laughs> they actually said that during the Q&A, but you know, it won't actually be overhead. Really? What, really? Okay. Really? I was just really expecting Warcraft 3 to start the second I queued into an <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. right? yeah. Just boots Boy, up Warcraft this 3. World of Warcraft? <laughs> Robbed. <laughs> this is the, this is the uh, Warcraft remaster that people have been begging for. It's just it's yeah, it's these, and you get to play as a grunt and go gather your own resources. How fun! Stop poking me. <laughs> me not that kind of orc. Well, whatever Warfronts are, they play. Excuse me, uh, a pretty a uh, big part on the advert for Battle for Azeroth. So yeah, they they definitely using them as one of the main pulls into the game. So they've got to figure out what they are and. More importantly, start talking about them in detail in the next month or two, given releases eight months away at most. So they've got to have some idea of what they are by now. And they need to tell us because, you know, there's a huge PvP community that wants to find out what they're all about. Yes. Sorry. Long pause. I was reading something. Um, <laughs> uh, just another thing I read I'm from man. the... <laughs> My man. Yes. Um another thing that i was just reading over real quick is a rework to uh survival hunter i, I didn't see this in the q a and that rip hunters uh survival melee spec isn't going to be a thing anymore is that did you guys no, get that from still the going to be a melee they're spec. reworking just, they're yeah. going to have abilities like i imagine it'll be an ability where you really quickly pull out a bow and shoot it and then go back to your melee which yeah, I, sounds like amazing some... to me i think yeah it awesome. sounds sounds really dope i mean clouds and i personally you know we plan on we're gonna when Zandalari drop. We've had Zandalari troll, other uh, Zandalari hunters picked out for a while. So we're both gonna run serve, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, it'd be interesting if it definitely did go back to being a uh, hybrid melee ranged class. Yeah, like that's survival. That's definitely what was like in Burning Crusade, I think. Was yeah, they, like that. Yeah, they gave two. They gave a hint for two specs about changes. They said they were looking into serve. Um, you know, they were going to change because they're like, you know, it's just, it's not good now. So yeah, they definitely said they were going to, you know, mix in. I don't know exactly how they're going to do it, but they're going to mix in some more range for sure. And then Affliction, they were like, yeah, you're about to get nerfed to hell and back. Good yeah, luck, was, have fun. Was, was scary. That was like the, that was a, yeah, that was the scariest message I've ever heard in my life. Like, you can't. If I was an Affliction Warlock, I'd be really worried right now. Yeah, because yeah, he's like, <laughs> you can't be the king forever. And it's like, I don't know what that means. That's cryptic <laughs> and terrifying. I think he said it though, tongue in cheek, knowing that's exactly what people would do. Just start yeah. deleting their affliction warlocks. Every affliction warlock just started screeching. <laughs> that's what they do, anyways. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what did you guys think about the possibility of six v six rate battlegrounds? Even though it's not confirmed, they they hinted that they might. I don't know if I've done a single battleground. I, really, I would really enjoy that. Six v six would definitely be 
Interesting. It would change how. I don't know. It, it can be difficult to get a full team as it is currently. Yeah. Yeah, and but don't worry. We we were also had it way over explained that you won't be able to solo queue for rated battleground. Oh yeah. Like, so we can't confirm that. That was so fun to listen to. Well, I don't. I don't know how many many Q and A's you guys have watched in the past, but watching it live, I mean, you will literally see the the Twitch feed saying uh, solo queue, solo yeah. queue, solo queue, like people wanting an answer on solo queue. So that, that uh, it's good that they finally came out and uh, answered that that popular community topic, maybe even if it wasn't what we wanted to hear, which is kind of unfortunate. Solo queue would have been nice. Well, they they kind of explained it well, I thought, because mm-hmm. they were saying about how, you know, in every other online game that, that Blizzard offers, you know, where, where you've got a rated Battleground experience, you can change your characters, for example, in Overwatch. If it's not working out, you right, can flip. Right, right. Um, you have more maneuverability with talents in Heroes. But they were saying, you know, if you're queuing for solo um, rated Battlegrounds and, you know, you get a comp that doesn't work, you can't, that's it, you're stuck. Yeah. So I like that. And they, they're basically saying we don't want to turn it quite into Overwatch. But on the flip side, they are thinking of turning it into a 6v6 game, which obviously is what every other Blizzard game is right now as an eSport. So yeah, they 6v6 should, has a lot of potential, honestly. That they should just really allow cool. it to be like Overwatch. You just swap class before the Battleground starts. Like in the, like the first... Yeah, you just swap <laughs> tunes and like a loading screen. <laughs> yeah. Well, honestly, like I, my favorite environment for pvp is when it is 100 percent equal like everybody has the equivalent gear and stuff like they used to do on tournament servers uh, back in cataclysm brits i don't know if you remember um but they used to do like this arena pass thing like once a year that they'd open mm-hmm. up this server where you could just make what it, whatever class you wanted it would have just full gear for whatever spec you wanted and every you know basically everything ready to go and so you'd queue into an arena or a battleground and everybody would be on the same play, like playing field, and then uh, it would just be a game of skill. And that's, I'd I'd love for that to just be the PvP system where you go in it like they've tried to do it, but just flat out your gear is a set set of gear, a set set. And uh, I think that would be worth looking into. Blizzard, I know you're listening. Well, they could do something similar because they for the um, the Mythic Dungeon invitational they are allowing for the second stage they're bringing people onto a private server so there's mm-hmm. no reason why if they wanted to boost uh rated battleground esports they could say right we're going to let certain people in and then you'll have like a separate server with as you said maxed out um gear and whatnot for you just to go out and mess about and then we'll start deciding who's the best from that so it, it could work if mythic in- uh, uh, invitational works yeah. out um this is super random and you know, kind of oldish news. But speaking of Mythic Plus, um, the new bread system is really interesting. I wasn't sure how to feel about it at first, and I still like, you know, being able to stack is still probably always going to be better. But the new system does have its perks. Like, um, I forgot what dungeon we were running, but very recently it came in handy. We were running. I think I believe it was, it was a Nelf. Yeah, it was Nelf. It was Nelf. We lost two yeah. people. And we lost two people. And since we hadn't used any brezzes throughout the entire run, we were able to get both people up on the last boss. Think, so that's interesting. The that same I, person was able to res both, and that's not yeah, like I was because I was I was the only person with brez, and I just like brez both of them real quick. So that was really cool. I think all around, it's actually a better thing because it was a problem. You know, it was such an encouragement to only bring people that can brez. Make sure you have at least three. That was kind of done before. Mm-hmm. It was kind of nice if you had that though. <laughs> yeah, and it's, yeah. Well, it's hard to agree to it, but at the same time, like what happened to us, that's really great. Yeah, but in some situations, the new system is actually superior, which is cool. Yeah, so. I definitely agree. I think, yeah, it's good overall. Um, Britza, 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 Britza. Have you played yeah. any um, <laughs> Mythic Plus lately? Have you had a chance to hop in there? I have been doing some runs. Um, I, I want to take it, uh, do more this coming um reset and just i want to gear up and try and do some last minute proper raiding in inverted commas before (laughs) legion closes off um but i haven't done that much to be honest it's it's um yeah it's just it's i want to bring more characters in i'm trying to level characters up so i can use mythic plus to actually gear them up so it's more progression that i'm trying to use it for but yeah no i'm trying to do a little bit Oh dear, but yeah, no, I, I, I'm enjoying it so far, but not doing as much as I'd like. I mean, we do have Nightborn now. 
We do. We do. We do. My monk, I did change my monk to a Nightborn this week, and uh, she looks fantastic. Yeah, all I love the Nightborn. I was, I was really um, happy to see the tattoos, because yeah. all of the pictures we've seen, they didn't have that effect on them. It was a nice surprise. Yeah. They're pretty subtle, too. Like, they're, the color of them is kind of light, but I like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I just, I'm just happy now that even my skin color matches my mug, so it's perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, mug. what's a mug? Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I figured that Nightborn might actually be perfect for me if I can get like the old Nightborn that are all addicted to drugs and stuff. Yeah, they, you yeah, know, they might look all disheveled and yeah. they just wear whatever clothes they can find in the dumpster, and that suits me. So I liked how there is actually a male face that looks like they're withering, but I don't mm. think there's a female one. Yeah, there really isn't. It would be cool though if they added withered to that subspec. It would be or subclass race. I can't talk. Um. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, having a crack addict would be perfect, especially for a DK. You could play as a crack addict for a human, no. <laughs> you can. What? You're not wrong. Yeah, have you not seen the new human uh, character models, bro? Oh yeah, yeah. The the um, what are they called? The Colterian humans. Yeah. Anywho, um. Let's move on. We've been on WoW for a little bit. Let's talk about some other stuff that happened this week. Uh, Overwatch announced Year of the Dog uh, event coming on Tuesday, I believe. Yes. No, the 8th. Yikes. It's coming on Thursday. No. Coming Thursday, out yeah. this Thursday. Um, no surprise. Uh, we knew that one was coming. It's the new Chinese New Year event. We'll get some new skins. Uh, maybe I'll get the Roadhog skin this year from last year. That pig skin was really cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I would expect... I don't know. I don't know if we can expect the Capture the Flag mode to come back, actually, or maybe they'll do something different. Last year, they introduced Capture the Flag for the holiday event, and then it just became a mode that circulates through the arcade now, so I wonder if they'll bring in something different or if it'll just be Capture the Flag again. We'll have to see. Maybe they'll do something like on Christmas where they have the old mode and a new mode. Yeah, yeah. That... Kale, Kale thinking ahead. That, that may be what they do. Maybe instead of capture the flag, they'll just actually put a dog in the game and you have to chase around because they already gave capture Arissa the dog. the dog, the dog emote. They could just put in that puppy and you just chase the puppy all over the map and that's the game. A dog emote, phenomenal. <laughs> um, so what if it's a, a dog in the middle, a dog instead of a flag, you all play Lucio and you all have to bump the dog around while a berserk Orissa chases you around. <laughs> no, parking. no parking. No parking. No parking. In the frog skin only. Yes. Frog skin yes. only. Yeah. So then you're combining Lucio Ball with Capture the Flag and just having Orissa in because, yeah, that emote. I think that's you're, the best way to do it. Yeah. You're welcome, Blizz. I know you're listening. This mm -hmm. is fucking gold. Total gold. Yeah, free oh. charge. <laughs> it's, it's like a soccer mode. You have to boop the dog into the other team's goal, and you get an Arissa as a goalie that can kind of pull it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there we yeah. go. <laughs> All right. There are so many animal rights campaign groups. Uh, just like, yeah, let's now. kick puppies, guys. That's fun. It's boop puppies. It's it's yeah. uh, boops, <laughs> boops and kicks boop. are completely different. Yeah, they are. Boop the pug. That's the new mode coming to Overwatch. Can confirm on Thursday. Um, here's a storm. Uh, hashtag dead moba. Also announced, um, <laughs> <laughs> also announced um, Lunar Festival is coming. I would assume new skins. I don't know. Britt said, what's coming with that? I didn't look into that much. Uh, it, exactly that. So obviously we, we got Maiev. Um, that's not for the event, but that is certainly something that's going to be hyped up for the event. Um, and then, yeah, we're just getting new skins, uh, new packs. There's some really cool Kael'thas skins coming out. Um and I'm struggling with the link, so I can't find it. Any, anything but going off memory. Um, yeah, there's some really good Calfest skins. There's uh, a new Jada skin coming out. There's just some really nice stuff going around um, that people are going to want to collect. It's no different than what it is every year. Just new skins, new emotes, new icons. Um, they might. They've just brought out a new brawl mode, so I don't know if they'll do something special brawl wise for it. But apart from that, it's just uh, just some nice glitzy skins for us all to collect. Very nice. Um, what else is happening this week? Uh, oh, well, I guess Alexander, she emailed us a link talking about StarCraft uh, returns to comics. Uh, it looks like Dark, Ho Dark Horse Comics. Yeah, is that it? 
Yes. Yes. Dark Horse Comics has decided to write about a dead game, I guess, and uh, make some comics about it. Oh, <laughs> <don't> dead. <laughs> yeah, Gary, Gary still plays it. Well, is the new comic going to be called Dawn of the Living Starcraft? Um, I, I no, it's not. But I, looking at the artwork, you might be forgiven for thinking it was about you know something like that. Maybe, maybe it's about scavengers. It's um, I'm, I'm trying to think. There's a bit of deja vu because I'm I'm sure that the story is about um, a group of Terrans who are pillaging a Protoss ship which is in orbit, and it just screams like alien or something like that. It's uh, so it'd be interesting to see what they what spin they put on it. Um, but it's coming out in summer, July 25th. And the pre-orders are coming soon. So if you want to get your StarCraft fix sometime Star in July, start thinking about pre-ordering that. I mean, it's a long wait. StarCraft honest, 3 confirmed, basically. StarCraft is what you're 3 saying. confirmed. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, they're bringing that Nova game or the uh, the Ghost game that they got scrapped. Yeah, StarCraft so, yeah. Ghost. <laughs> Definitely. I don't but, know. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see it. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've seen Overwatch comics have been a huge success and, you know, Warcraft used to have good comics uh, i haven't seen something like that for a while thanks chris metzen for retiring by the way um but yeah it'll, it'll be cool I, it's good that they're still trying to keep the franchise alive any way they can rip diablo there, there hasn't been anything for that so at least starcraft has some content coming out and the esports some people still think it's relevant cough gary cough um it's the brood war um not brood war the um the remastered esports still going strong uh, I guess it is Brood War, really, but yeah. Brood War wasn't was Brood War remastered. <laughs> yeah, was it just the original. Yeah, 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 oh, it was Brood War. Yeah, um, uh, no, you know, I, I, I wouldn't know. I guess I don't really follow StarCraft at all much anymore. Maybe it's popular. No, neither do I. Yeah, but, I remember there was a time when Brood War, the Brood War esport was as big. Yeah, it as was, StarCraft Two esport. Mm -hmm. it, it was well, a weird and, one. That was a couple of years ago. <laughs> well, and, and you know, it was the fir the first esport, but. You know, now there's League and nothing will top League except Overwatch League, maybe. Uh, yeah, this was another... Uh, th th that's actually a good transition. I wanted to talk about Overwatch League real quick before we move into the final section of the show. So, props to London. They 4 owed the Soul Dynasty this week. That was insane. I don't know if you guys happened to see that game or not, but that was very unexpected. Did you get, have a chance to see that, Britza? I haven't, no, but I will be watching it. It's nice to know that London continues to rock, even though mm. I, they have that little blip. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, but that... then again, I remember saying, like, after they had that little um, that little loss on uh, one of their maps. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, that loss, sorry, that outright loss. Um, I remember saying that, oh, actually, this makes it a bit interesting because it means, you know, that you're not guaranteed a win. It makes it a bit more no. tense. Our team is defeatable. And, and now it just seems that that was literally just a blip. Yeah, the I mean the dynasty has shown their weakness this week. I mean they they went from being considered the top team in the league now to number three in the span of just this week, um, from losing to losing to London and then almost losing to the Houston Outlaws. They won in the fifth map barely. So that was the the dynasty is getting rocked, and it, it's been an interesting week in Overwatch League for sure. And if you're a Dallas Fuel fan, like. Like me, you're you're still hurting because now we're still I think one in seven now. Ah, hurts. Well, on the other side of the league, it's looking good if you want to become a pro Overwatch player because I mean I could go lose for Dallas for a lot less yeah. money than what they're paying their players. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Dallas. If you need some people to lose more and just look happier while doing it, uh, look if you want to <laughs> if you want a mediocre Torb. I fucking got no, it. No, no. Don't don't even sell yourself short. This guy, Love, is in the top 1% of Torbjorn players, according to Overbuff. So, Which is all that matters to hire me, please. I'm yeah, broke. <laughs> um, but really, our, our our secret star for Overwatch has got to be Clouds. He's, he's, he's sitting on some skill that he doesn't even know he has yet. Oh, yeah. Dude. He's just like... played much Overwatch. <laughs> exactly. The chosen one. But he's one yeah. percent in everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he could just get up there and rock Fleta, just knock Fleta out of the sky. If for those who don't know who Fleta is, he is like the number one player in the world at Tracer and uh, Farah. But no, Clouds would hop in, hop on the Widowmaker, just headshots all day. I could see it. Oh, Doomfist, dude, Doomfist main for sure. Oh, absolutely. Yep, yep. The punchy kunk. Never died once on Doomfist ever. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, that's accurate for me because I've never played Doom Fist, but... You'll have to. You'll have to. All right, it's time to roll into the final segment of the show. I'm actually going to play a sounder for once. It's time for 20 Questions. Geeks of Azeroth, the moment has arrived. Have you studied the lore? Study the lore? I am the lore! It's time for Blizzard 20 Questions. That's right, it's time for Blizzard 20 Questions. And unless, Britza, you did you have an answer in mind? I don't even have questions in mind, so I'm going to struggle. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time for 20 questions. You guys ask the questions. I've got the answer. And if you happen to have the show notes still open, you can pull those open. That's where I'll be typing all the questions so you can keep track. Go ahead. Begin. Is it an alchemist? No, it's not an alchemist. You guys are welcome. Free chest. <laughs> Is it from Warcraft? Yes. Is it a person? Define person. Here we go already. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have more of a soul than horse? Yes. Okay. We'll just. I'm. Yeah. No, I. I, uh, I, I don't why, know. Why? I, I, why is there two fours? I don't know. It, Docs is being weird. Your formatting's killing me. Please stop. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm mean, I, I'm gonna go back. I'm I don't want to say it's a person. I don't really know it, how to. Is it a character? Though? It's a character. Yes. Character. Okay. Close enough. I'm getting deja vu from last week. I know. <laughs> it's a character, but not a person. I'm, I'm gonna have to aquatic. <laughs> no, not aquatic. Final answer, Mister Chili. <laughs> no. I was actually that was actually going to be it, and I changed it like right before we started. So it's a good, <laughs> good thing. I oh thought, my god! I guess. It was actually wow. going to be Mr. Chili. <laughs> oh man! It's like you read my mind. I tend to do that often. Yes. I, I actually have to have, make sure I have the wiki page on this character up this time, so I can answer <laughs> questions accurately and not be that guy, <laughs> like I usually am. <laughs> yep. Just hedging it. Yeah. Um, is this character, does this character play a, an active role in Legion? Like, do they have a role in a quest line or something like that? A major quest line? No, they, they're not in a major quest line. We'll go with that. Has this character been confirmed for Battle for Azeroth? Uh, no. So it's not Zappy Boy then. <laughs> no, it's not Zappy Boy. Is the character a playable race? No. Well, <laughs> oh, we're getting two which, this uh, week. Which now takes out like a hundred times more characters than it did before. Technically, not a playable race. Oh, that means it's gonna be a playable race. That's not Simmer what I said. on that, boy. It's not what I said. It's not not what you said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could possibly be, be an allied race in the future. <laughs> Definitely a Hosen character. Actually, it'd be pretty dope if this was a. I would. Race. Yeah, I would approve of Hosen. I would unsub as soon as <laughs> those people became playable. I'd be like, nope, I'm not doing this. Let's what do you mean? Only on, question, only on question eight. Let's keep going. Keep figuring. Out. You guys got this. So let me review. Wait, this let me make sure Tilda or Alexander's not guessing it in the chat here. Uh, is this character found in an instance? Yes. Is the instance a raid? Hold on. I'm, I'm making him do I have to things. actually find the answer to this. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, studying, 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 studying. studying. Uh, no, not in a raid. Is it in a dungeon? I think so. But <laughs> Um, actually no. Not in an instance. I'm wrong. 
<gasps> Does that mean our questions get refunded? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get get refund, damn it. Yep, yep, yep. You go back. You could to... be a complete jerk, and he's like, no. You you go you go back to question nine. So it's not in an instance. Yeah. Hmm. Another thing, person that is this race is in an instance, but it's not this person character. Are you good? Yeah, I guess. I am. I didn't know the difference. <laughs> Mm. I guess we have to start asking really big questions. Mm. Would having this character on the team improve Dallas's performance? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, <I'm... laughs> um, does this character have opposable thumbs? Yes. You're welcome, guys. It's Hosen. That's See, that one. seemed like such a meaningless question at first, but now I realize actually that like takes out most big That's characters right. in the game. never question me red coat i'm a genius <laughs> <laughs> you think on levels beyond my understanding no no alessandra they have not nailed down which expansion the character is from yeah Alexander, don't bring logic just into this thing all the expansions for us that'd be great um is this character male yes Assuming. <laughs> For now, at least. Um, I am stumped. <laughs> you got ten more questions. Alright. Oh, wait, so it's a male? Okay. Um, so it's a male humanoid? Oh, we don't know if it's humanoid. It's, oh, a, I mean, it's a maybe humanoid. playable oh. race. Um... Is the first letter of their first name in the first half of the alphabet? <laughs> well, what the fuck, dude? I don't feel like Lily actually put any thought into that. No, well, I mean I, I could answer that pretty quickly. Yeah. That means since it's easy, it's towards the end of the alphabet. It's a Z. That's actually yeah, that does help a lot. Actually, gives us something to base. Wait, so on. half of the alphabet. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. Yes. So, yes. Okay. Oh, God. So anything okay. past M would be in the. Second. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for doing that math for me, Kale. No, Kale just knew that, dude. <laughs> he drinks a lot of Snapple. <laughs> <laughs> My parents would beat me if I didn't know the fractions of the alphabet. <laughs> Are you laughing? Yeah, that's a trauma story, you insensitive assholes. All right, we're on anyway. question number 12. We're not, not really getting anywhere. Not really close, except you know that the <laughs> first letter of the name is in the second half right. of the alphabet. Well, we're going to start spitballing here. We're just going to start chaining these bitches. All right. Is he blue? Ish. No. Ish. Ish. No, not blue. Do, do we meet this character in Mr. Pandaria or later? No. It means Kata... Vanilla through Kata. Uh, do we meet this character in Burning Crusade or before? Yes. Always picking on the drain or baby, damn it. I oh, know. I'm just gonna go out there. Do we meet this character in Burning Crusade? No. Hmm. Back to Vanilla. So if See, it's maybe a playable race, it's probably safe to assume it was not a playable race in vanilla. Well, yeah, it's not. A, yeah, not a playable race for vanilla. I mean, male. It, is it even? I mean, it's not like a battle pet or some shit, is it? Uh, I don't know. Is this character still alive, Tali? Mm, unsure. Uh, Can't okay. answer that question because I don't know. Oh, so they disappeared, probably. Is it my dad? No. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad does begin with the letter M, so it would fit. <laughs> That's right. Brownie <laughs> point. Oh dear, these are awful trauma stories that are going to make our listeners cringe. <gasps> I haven't got anything. What, what, yeah, what have yeah. you guys got? 
I don't really have much. All right, how many questions do you have left? We're gonna just Five. rattle shit. Five All right, questions left. So we, we've got a male. We met in vanilla. Not at an instance. Not a playable race. All right, so let's just. I'm gonna ask a dumb one. Is it a battle pet? No. Okay. Uh, on four left. No, three left. Bad at math and English and life. Oh. No, you have four. You have four left. Including question 20, which has to be your guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. Never mind then. Uh, Johnny, come on, man. Feedback here. I know you know it. You're just letting us suffer. I could give you a good hint, but I think it would give it away immediately if I said a hint, so I'll wait till... Mm -hmm. I think you overestimate our abilities. <laughs> Do we meet this character on Kalimdor? Uh, hold on. I have to figure out. I know what zone he's in, but... Right, while he's typing that, I'm going to delete some of the questions. Oh, shit. That was... <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, no, not on Kalimdor. So it can only be Eastern Kingdoms. So... Okay, I'll give you a kind of a hint. Love, you are going to be very upset that you don't get this one, if you don't get it. So cryptic. Is it a... I kind of feel like it's a turtle person, but I don't know if there's any like significant yeah, turtle aquatic. people. It's not aquatic. Well, yeah, so... It's not aquatic, yeah. Hmm. And it has opposable thumbs. Oh, is it? No. Wait a second. Well, no, because he would be dead. I was like, it's not Lich King, is it, you bastard? <laughs> no, but Arthas is dead, so that wouldn't count. Arthas is dead, not Lich King. Well, okay, yes. Arthas is dead. Bolvis. I think that's Bolvis. <laughs> Bolvis? I don't know. Bulbus. Bulbus. <laughs> Bulbus I don't know. Sounds Hashtag good. Bulbus. Fire dude. Fire dude's still alive. <laughs> Um, fear me, I'm Lich King Bulbous. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag flamey boy. Uh, <laughs> right. That's got to be the show title, Tali. <laughs> Lich King Bulbous. <laughs> Bulbous. You're welcome. That's a beautiful name. I shall name my daughter that. Um, <laughs> and technically, Bulbar is a playable race, too. Because he is, is a he? human. He's a, a crisp, crispy boy, but he's a human. I was going to say, he's, he's <laughs> what he's <laughs> he, resembles, he resembles a whopper now, but yes, he's human. <laughs> and Bulvar's in the wrong half of the alphabet, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. That was a terrible guess. All right. I feel like that clue is just meant to throw us off, boys. It's not important. I, <laughs> oh, uh, um... You also haven't, uh, another hint, you haven't, I never said it was exclusive to World of Warcraft. Oh, uh, uh, well, no, no, that doesn't even work. Blizzard does have another game that exists where they take characters from other games and then pull them I mean, all into one Blizzard game. Blizzard World! That's not what I said. <laughs> Wait, but, well, no, because towards See, what, the dwarf... what, what other, what other... Blizzard game exists that has characters from every other video game in it, and that's all the video game is. Heroes. There you go. Is it in Heroes? No, that's not really my question. Uh, yes, the no, character is in Heroes. Heroes of the Storm as well. I'll give you that one without even writing it down as a question. Okay. So it's so a male and vanilla. Um... I'm trying to think of heroes that have a bit of an ambiguous... Alright, let me pull up Heroes of the Storm real quick. I don't play heroes, so I can't help. So we've got... Uh, as the characters... So the ones that are in the second half of the alphabet... <laughs> so M and Greater. So the, uh, the hero's hint is probably the hint that'll get you guys the answer, because that basically limits, based on everything else, who it could be. What will? What will limit it? Just the, basically the alphabet and the fact that you know it's from Heroes of the Storm. Well, uh, this Rock isn't a question for the question I'm asking everyone else. Is Zul'jin a Zandalari troll? Uh, I don't. Hmm. 
I don't know. I have no idea. He, he uh, might be. I, I think he's a Marnie. Like, no, 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 no. He's a Marnie. He's not Zandalari. Uh, I really didn't think this one would be difficult for you guys. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. God so, damn it! It's gonna be so easy. We yeah. just like overcomplicated the shit. It's out it's, it. it's got to be like Ragnaros or Varian's crispy as well. He's not gonna count. Um, <laughs> crispy boy. <laughs> crispy boy. <laughs> crispy cream. Um, we've got three questions left, guys. Um, Muradin? What's happened with Muradin? I can't even remember. I just keep throwing me off that he said something that I'm going to be mad about. Why would it be me? But they can't be Ragnaros because they're not found in an instance. Wait. Ah. I feel like Love might have some weird obsession with Rexar because he has the bear. <laughs> uh, you guys are... Oh, this is yeah, I kept thinking um, Thrall because I know that he likes Thrall. Yeah, but Thrall would be yeah, from Thrall's Calum. An easy, yeah. And he's an orc, which is playable now. I think you got a point there. Let me bring Jeep out of this, Johnny. But Rexar yeah, is, just, is, Rexar is a brown orc. And where do we meet? No, he's, he's half. He's on Calendar. Oh. Rexar is on Calendar as well. Yeah. Wait, did we say that they're not from Cal? Yeah, not on Calendar. Damn. I'm literally looking at a list of answers and we still can't get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The um, only other person I can think of from heroes that oh no, never mind. See, I don't know all the the hero characters. Yes, I don't really know any of them. So the because yeah. for male heroes of the storm characters in the second half of the <laughs> alphabet <laughs> is gonna be Ragnaros, which isn't a playable race. You're gonna get it here. You're gonna because you're gonna eventually just say the name. <laughs> just keep lifting names, Cal. Just I think Love will get it as soon as you say it. Rhaegar, but he's an orc, probably from Kalimdor. We already on. went over Rexar. I think Samro's technically from Warcraft, right? Uh, yes, well, it's Blade Master. You gone? It, uh, it's gonna be Stitches, isn't it? Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! You oh didn't, my. did you? Oh my god! <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, oh my! You figured so it out! My. It's Stitches! I didn't know oh. Stitches was a hero! I didn't know he was a hero as well, that's yeah. phenomenal! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is Stitches. Hailed and was originally found in Duskwood in vanilla. Two yeah. fucking unholy mains. <laughs> Stitches with our last game. Right. Uh, the, playable, the playable race got me because he's classified as undead, but he's, he's, you can't have an undead model like Stitches. That Though, that would make a dope oh, playable yeah. race. Abominations, playable yeah. race, make it happen. <laughs> now the Horde gets it, and only Horde. Yep. All My right. only frustration with that, Tali, <laughs> yeah. is you, you said that Stitches wasn't a person. And I'm very yeah, happy. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah, you're a bigot, dude. If you've seen the heroes advert for Stitches, you'll understand that will hurt his feelings a lot. He All has right. opposable thumbs, goddammit. Well, that, <laughs> that, that wraps up the show. Thank you, everybody, as always, for tuning in. You can check us out on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever your favorite podcasting platform is. And you can check us out here on Twitch TV slash Geeks of Azeroth. Find us on Twitter at Geeks of Azeroth. Find me at Epic Geeks Tirely. Britza, where can we find you? You can find me at Britza underscore EG. You can find all these. You can find love at Daddy Swag Legs. Otherwise, you can find yes. <laughs> everybody on every, else. On every social media yep. possible Facebook, Twitter, yep. Instagram, Snapchat, all of them, Daddy Swag Legs. You're welcome. <laughs> Otherwise, you can check us out. On Wormrest Accord, Horde Side Apocalyptic Horseman. That's where you can find us. We'll be needing no more raiders for BFA. Um, everyone have a great week in Azeroth. See you next time. Bye bye. Stay classy. This podcast is part of the Epic Geeks Network. To find out more about our other gaming podcasts, head to epicgeeks.co.uk.